Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Ty Mizzy. You watch my channel, Mizzy14, and I'm back doing a view of Emmett TV Catfish. Season 8, episode 17, the episode of Zay and Jada. The episode of Entanglement. <laughs> I said, <to> stop playing. Because <laughs> I named Jada, so Cammy keeps saying Entanglement throughout the whole episode, so it was like, okay. The first half, she keeps saying entanglement, entanglement, entanglement. I said, okay, we got it. So Zay, she's 23 years old. She lives in Florida, but she was from New York because she got the New York accent. I said, hey, New York here. <laughs> and we find out she's married. So I said, oh, whoa, you married and getting catfish? Oh, girl, are you entertaining a catfish? <sighs> this is tough because now it's like, it's one thing when you're single and you're getting catfish. Okay, that's that's crazy. But it's another thing when you're married and getting catfish by someone and you're in a relationship. Like a whole marriage. So it's not like, like you're dating and you're engaged. That's even worse anyway if you're doing dating and engaged. You're with someone and you get catfish. You break your relationship and you promise with the person to be faithful to entertain someone who's catfish. Now, she's saying that her and Ellis, her wife, been together for like three years. But they've been married for like a year because they got just got married a year ago. And since they got married, it just been like downhill from there. And she's, um, Zay said she been through she got through a lot of loss in her family, and ever since hasn't been there like that in that way, shape, or form, and be emotional, supportive, and stuff like that for her due to the loss. And she also not getting a lot, enough sex. So you know, sometimes that is just a lack a lack of sex and lack of emotional support from your spouse and all that stuff support. And during the troubled times, it will lead you to think that you're being alone or you're not being heard or you are unhappy, whatever. And then she said she's trying to explain to Evans and is just, just she trying to do some things that will help her get out the funk, but it wasn't working. So she entertained a, she entertained a catfish named Jada. Now Jada hit her DMs and Instagram and and from there, they had been talking for a while, talking for a long time, and to the point, it was just a friendly conversation. But she was going down, they talk, see how you're doing, all that stuff, and then it comes to the point, and they, they only been like talk, talking like a couple months, like seven something months. And to a point, it started to get serious with the conversations to, to the point, it said like dating and meeting each other, stuff like that. And they were trying to meet. Now, Zay said she does try to call, call Jada. But every time she tries to call, she calls, she tries, she tries. Person will answer or hang up or they won't answer at all. So, could really hardly talk on the phone and then really didn't FaceTime each other. So, it's like they just only been texting, DMing each other on Instagram. That's the only way because she's his wife, so she got to keep that secret. So, they only had left it as a D in DMs. No text messages on the phone, no phone calls like that, even though she is trying to call. But that's it. It was mostly DMs. And. That's going on. So she was like, Jada was like, listen. She was like, I guess and Zay told her that she was married. And she was like, listen, if we're going to meet together, we're going to go good and meet. I can't rock with you being married. So I guess that way it led to prompt Zay to reveal the truth. That she has been talking to someone named Jada. Is a person catfish, whatever, or so she had to talk to one of Zayda. So, you know, that caused more of a trouble strain in relationship because now she can't trust Zay because she entertaining the idea of someone being catfish. Now, she hasn't really physically cheated on, well, we get to that point later, <laughs> but with the person Jay that she's never met, it was not a physical affair, it was mostly emotional connection affair and sometimes emotional cheating is just as worse or even worse than physical cheating because physical cheating sometimes you don't really attach connection to emotional feelings to your sexual activities so you can just have sex and that's it and have no emotional attachment to it you say okay bye hit, 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 quit and move on move forward but when you have emotions attached to it and you have emotional cheating feelings are evolved and then you let someone in and you be open and then it leads to something else and then you confide to that person and it's it's dangerous because when you put emotional feelings to someone else other than your spouse then 
you still looking forward to seeing that person and talking to that person and building with that person and you disconnect from your current spouse and connect with that person and that leads to more troubling than that because you can't get away you can you can't shake that off like if you just do a sex or if it was just physical you just okay that's it whatever but emotional it's like you 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 tied in you hooked so it's dangerous to engage in emotional fear because now you let that something suppose it in and it's create a whole world fair mental emotional state it creates a lot and it's tough it's tough it's really tough it's really tough so that's what they're going on so they were saying like, we're going to get all the information and it seemed like they would say, I love you, I love you back. And it was a 917 number. And 917 number is from New York. It's an area code. So it led to Kim and believe that it could be Eris, the wife, who catfished her to trap her to see, oh, because, because you wasn't getting this from me, I might be creating a fake profile as getting to trap you and see if you're going to take the bait and stuff like that. So they really heavily thinking that it's Eris, the wife. I, I, should, I don't think that too. I was like, okay, it could be her. It's like, who else will have a thing? It's 917 number. I was very specific. Like, if you go do a random thing, get a random phone number with a different area code. Now, I have a specific, a specific area code to a state that you were from somewhere else. You're in Georgia. And then you get a 917 area code. That's New York. So, they got all the information from Zay, Cammy, and you got information from Zay. And they started an investigation. They did an investigation. Pick search. That didn't happen. It was no matches to it they did a phone number and it was a text to app phone so and it was very specific to 917 so it's like okay somebody had to be in new york with this it's like who is this person so it could believe it made them believe it could be someone they know they knows that it could that could be catfish her so they was like okay they're looking at those different things so they said they left a message to that um but they left a message who they left a message to yeah, they called the number or they left the message. No, they left the message on a DM. Jada DM didn't respond to that. Then they would say, okay, what else can we look at? So they, just, they started to look at the Facebook pages. And then they realized they saw a different kind of Jada's name. And they saw the picture and they said, that's her. J.D. Barbie, J.D. Jada Gilmore. So look at that and it was different Jada Gilmore pages. So I said, what is, why do they got so many pages? Like, what is going on? And this is the pictures that was on the Instagram. It's the pictures that matched with the Facebook po profiles. So they was like, okay. So they started the messages or the other, they started the messages or the Facebook pages. And that didn't get anywhere. They didn't get no messages back from Jada. They didn't get no messages back from no pages. They did that in. So they contact Zay, gave her an update. And she just feel a little bummed out and all stuff like that. And she gets some time. So they start to continue more investigation. Now, this time, they said, no, let's look at the pages and see what's going on with us. They find a friend that was on Instagram. Because on the Instagram page, they show a friend that had a um, thing. And they said, they had a couple emoji with a ring. They're like, oh, so is this person engaged? Like, this person is in a whole relationship? Say, call this other person your wife? Because I guess Cameron said she called her best friend sometimes her wife or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I never called her best friend hubby or wifey. We call her bestie. But it is what it is. Or boo. <laughs> but that was that. So they contact Kai because she was like the mutual friends of a lot of these profile pictures. So they contact Kai. Kai responded. And she was like, okay, what's going on, Haley? What's going on, hey, boo? And... She was like, Jada, she know Jada. She said, Jada is her sister because she thought me was contacted for by her. So she said, yes, Jada is my sister and it's good. And they explained the situation and she said, oh, yes, she does have multiple Facebook pictures because sometimes she forgets her password and she's going to create another one. So that happens. And they want to get Jada in and see if she will at least clear up. So they got it and she did say that Jada is in a relationship. And they also looked at the pages and they see that Jada has a kid or something like that. Or so she's supposed to be, might be with someone. So they look at that and Jada got in the real Jada. And basically not the one that Zay was talking to. 
but somebody was using Jada's pictures to catfish Zay. So she said, no, I'm in a relationship. I'm not into girls. And I'm sorry that she's going through that. So they say, you know what? Let's get Zay so you could tell her directly what's going on. So she said, cool. She did that. So she told Zay. Now Zay been from bummed out about it because now she's like, oh my gosh. But then she realized that it could be karma because she's in a relationship. She's married. And then she entertaining this stuff. So it's karma for her because she can't get really mad because she the one who start initiating all this stuff. Instead of working out with her wife. So... That's understandable. At least she understands that that it could be karma that all this bad stuff is happening to her. So they was like, "Listen, we need to get something." So, so I actually find out for the real Jada that it's not her. Jada apologizes that you should not be going through this and stuff like that. She appreciate the girl for giving her the truth. So she now she know that it's someone else. So then he said, "Let me message the phone number that the specific number the, the specific phone number that he got." That 917 number. And that person responded. Person responded saying that, oh, if she knows this much, I don't think it's possible for me to do any more because I don't want to hurt her and stuff like that. Not too long ago, Eris responded back. So they was like, okay, they both messaged at the trial at the same time. So they said, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, what's going on? So they were saying, what's the possibility that this could be Eris? And why she messaged the same time to Jada responded. So let's say it could be Evans or it could be somebody that knows both. Because she said, I don't want them to get mad at me. If Evans going to be joining, because I don't want them to get mad. So I said, who, what she mean by I want them to get mad at her? So she would say, okay, okay, I'm going to join. She didn't really want to do this, but she going to join. So here go to join. And when they revealed her, it was a girl named Makeda. Makeda was Jada. Now, people who watched Catfish in the past, Makeda been on Catfish before. Check my thumbnail, it will show the picture of Makeda. And she been on Catfish before when Max and Neve was the um, host. And so they was like, Cam and Neve was like, hold on, you look familiar. Have you been Catfish? Have you was in our show before? And she said, yes, she was. And Makeda was friends with Evis and Zay. And so she, Makeda, the whole reason is that she did this page because she wanted to help Zay out and get her out the funk. I know she was in her trouble, her marriage, and she wanted to get her marriage, so she helped her out. So I said, why can you just not do it regularly? Why you had to create a whole profile page to get her to get out the marriage? Which I don't understand that. If you was a good friend, you just been there as a regular friend. You didn't have to catfish her. You didn't have to create a whole different page. What was the point of that? So Zay is getting upset about that. So she said, so McKay said, I don't know why you upset like that. What's going on? What's the deal? Like, what's the big deal? I was trying to help you out and everything. And I was like, girl, why are you getting an attitude? Like, you don't want catfishing. You did the roundabout way to help her out. Or it was like, it was going too much. And then she dropped the bomb and said that, oh, we slept together. Makeda and Zay slept together. And Zay confirmed that they only slept one time. And I said, oh, snap. Oh, she said, that's the reason why she going hard about that. She slept together. So she think it was more to it because Zay was like, it was only a one-time thing. And it was nothing further. She's not even her wife and all that stuff. So you think it further into it. And so Makeda thought it was more than that. She thought it was going to be something development for that. So that's why maybe she catfish her to see what she's going to what she gonna say and what she gonna do and say she can get her out of the situation. And then she gonna reveal that she said with Ellis. So I said, oh wow, you so the married couple, girl, you getting them out. So Zay didn't wanna believe her. Zay was like, oh now you lying, you lying, I don't believe it. So they got Ellis. Ellis she didn't want she wanted a video chat first. Cause she said, alright, I'm gonna phone chat. So she did the phone chat and Ellis got on there and they lead us um they let the way Lee gave the um, opening and then Zay said that yeah she slept with Makeda. Uh, she said oh my god I was faithful to you I was trusting you why you would do this to me you broke the vows all that stuff like that and then they would say well Makeda said that you slept with her so whatever said that she said what oh really she got right on she said so why would you say that why you say that? you know why would I lie in my vagina why would you say that we slept together you know I didn't sleep with you so McKay said, well, 
I did that to get back and say because she hurt me because I thought it would be something different more than that and she hurted me so I did that I created I made that lie up I said oh my gosh Makeda so ever since pissed off she said I would not do this all oh, so we done we, uh uh all oh, stuff so Zay was done with her Makeda ever since she's done with this whole situation she's done with both Zay and Makeda because she said why would you lie like that why what would you, would you get at what do you get out of it so Makeda said you know what uh uh Okay, whatever, I'm done. I'm done. All that stuff. It is what it is. They done with me. They friends. All that stuff. I did what I said. All that stuff. It is what it is. So they got her out of it. And Zay apologized to Evis. Evis said, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want your lies and all that stuff. I heard it before. It is what it is. I'm done with this relationship. We all done. We don't have to say anything else. So she got out of it. And Zay, she said she had to just have to take it. And that's what it is. She just had to accept it. And she don't want that role, but she, she did with the consequences that she let. She pursued this catfish, and now all this stuff happened. So they was like, she working on herself, Zay working on herself to make so what make her happy. And I guess her and Evis is trying to rebuild, not a relationship, but just to get past that. And at least be in culture turn to talk. And... Makeda, they're not good at it. Makeda's hoping, hopefully, that Evis and Zay will forgive her. And she missed the friendship. I said, okay, you shouldn't have did that. You should just have talked to her regularly. Why you had to do all that? But that was MTV Catfish, y'all. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Tell me how y'all feel about this episode. And now stay tuned for my MTV Ghosted. I'm about to watch that next and do that review next. Alright? Talk to you later.